أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أولما أصابتكم مصيبة قد أصبتم مثليها قلتم أن هذا قل هو من عند أنفسكم إن الله على كل شيء قدير رب الشحل صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويقلي I actually wanted to share this one ayah with you uh, ayah number 165 of Surah Ali Imran for a very particular purpose a lot of people ask questions about why Allah put them through difficulty and it's a difficult question you know what did they do to deserve the difficulty and also people ask sometimes you know, when something bad happens, is it because I did something bad? Is it because it's my fault? Or is it because it was just decreed Allah is just putting me through a test? How do I know which one it is, you know? Then there are other people who whenever something bad happens, they blame themselves, right? They, they just say, Allah is just, I must have done something bad. I must have been bad to my parents. I must have missed a prayer or something. And that's why I got into a car accident or whatever. You know, they, they correlate things from the unseen to the seen realm. Now, these are some of the ayat that help us understand. Because on the one hand, Allah says, like in this ayah, When at the battle of Uhud, Muslims had difficulty, Allah says, when, you, when a calamity hit you, the likes of which you had already dished out to the enemy before, twice that you did the damage to the enemy the year before, you said, how could this happen? How did Allah, Allah let this happen? قُلْ هُوَ مِنْ عِنْدِي أَنفُسِكُمْ Tell them, this is because of what is within yourselves. This is came ex- specifically from you. It's your fault exclusively. إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْنْ قَدِيرٌ Allah in fact is capable of all things. In other words, had Allah wanted, this wouldn't have happened. Allah is capable of stopping the calamity from happen- happening, but He let it happen. And it's actually precisely because of you. Other places in the Qur'an, Allah will say, مَا أَصَابَ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ nothing, ha- No calamity hits you, nothing strikes you except by Allah's permission. So how do you reconcile on the one hand it's your fault and on the other hand it is by Allah's permission. This is it. In very brief I want to share this concept with you so it becomes clear inshallah ta'ala. When you drive a car over the speed limit and you're going between three lanes, you know, swerving this way, that way, the other way, and then you get into a car accident, you don't get to say, Allah wanted me to be in an accident, it's not my fault, you know, it's this qadr of Allah. What can you do? Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Allah does the cal- you know, calamities come. Whenever calamities come, they are from Allah. You don't get to say that. You don't get to say what is clearly a result of your own deeds, your own shortcomings, your own irresponsibility. Something happens. You don't get to blame the decree of Allah. On the other hand, there are things that are entirely out of your control. Issues related to your health may be entirely out of your control. Issues related to a death in a family may be entirely out of your control. Even a car accident may not be because of your negligence, it may be because of somebody else's, right? You losing your job may not be entirely your fault, may, may not be your fault at all. Your business going up or failing may not be your fault at all. A, disa- you know, a disaster, a natural disaster that you got stuck in or a loved one got stuck in or something like that, is not. there's no one to blame here. Those people are not sinful or you're not sinful for that. Those things, you have to believe this is from Allah and this is a test. It's not a punishment. This world... When Allah gives punishments in this world, He gives them when prophets come. And He destroys nations when they don't listen to the warnings. For people other than that, everything that you, you and I go through in this life is a test. Now when difficulty does come to you and it's clearly from your own doing, like you could directly draw a line between, yes, I did this and therefore this happened. You can draw a line between those two things, then you cannot turn back to Allah and say, yeah, Allah, this is from you, it's not from me. Actually, who min indi anfusikum. So clearly in other places in Quran, when big calamities come to you, Allah says, this is, Allah is letting it happen. Like you know, Muslims went through trouble in Makkah, didn't they? They got tortured in Makkah. And at that point, it's as though Allah is saying, this is from Allah. You have to just be patient. But in Uhud, when the archers left their position, and because of their leaving their position, that were, they were told to keep, all kinds of terrible things happen in the Muslim army, and so many people lose their lives. And you know, even the Prophet ﷺ is deeply injured, and he falls unconscious, and, and they have to retreat back up the mountain. If تُسْعِدُونَ wala تَلْوُونَ ala ahad, You're climbing up the mountain, you're not even turning back to look at anybody. When all of that happens, you don't get to say, this is because Allah wanted it to happen. No, 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 this is because of you. وَمِنْ عِنْدِي أَنفُسِكُمْ so you, you and I were learning in these ayat, 
personal responsibility. Part of our iman, part of our relationship with Allah is we don't blame Allah for things He doesn't deserve to be blamed for. And we learn to blame ourselves only for the things that we, are, we should take responsibility for things. And the opposite is also true. You don't blame yourself for everything. Some things are just in Allah's hands. He does them. And we have to learn to draw the line between those two if we are going to have a healthy, sustained relationship with Allah. Final comments on this. There are people who don't understand this balance. You know what happens to them? On the one hand, they become completely complacent. Allah does everything, I do nothing. It's, it's all you know, Allah is doing. And they actually become angry with Allah because Allah put me in through all this trouble. And on the other extreme, you get people who just become angry with themselves and hopeless in themselves. I am so bad, I am so messed up that Allah let me lose my job and then after that I had a flat tire and then after that I started balding and then after that my eyesight went bad and after that I got a divorce and all this stuff that happened, it happened because of, you know, I'm, I'm a bad person or I, you know, I deserve it. And they start loathing themselves. Allah Azza wa doesn't want us to loathe ourselves and He doesn't want us to loathe Him. There's a love you have to have not only for yourself, but only through the love of Allah you find even love for yourself and esteem for yourself. This is what these ayat teach. That the, the calamities that come, you have to learn to distinguish which ones are as a result of your own actions and which ones come directly from Allah Azza wa Jal as a test so you can rise to the occasion. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.